Hey, everyone who's joining in the chat. Thank you for joining up. Fuck Hi. Up, off a show. Hey. Better late than never. Well, I only stream on okay. Twitch as well, apparently, so that's fun. That's cool. Well, uh, thank you for joining in, you Twitchers. Twitch, which is where the party is. You beautiful. True that. We will update this in the future, but if it works, it works. So we're gonna stick by this. Um, so, Star Wars. Have you done anything Star Wars this week? Mm. I mean, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I um, let's see. Today, I watched Attack of the Clones mm-hmm. because I was inspired by Tiger King um, to watch my favorite space tiger attack some people. That was. Fun. <laughs> I watched Clone Wars today. A new also episode. fun. Yeah, I watched the new episode today. I still haven't caught up with last week's. I know it's terrible. Wait, so the most recent two years? Yeah. The thing is, though, we, we this week we finally got Disney Plus. I know everyone clapped. Oi. Woo, woo, woo. But the frustrating thing is, is that they're they're dripping the episodes up even though it's come out in america so i think in uh, over uh, here we're on like i think they've just put episode four or five of the mandalorian and the clone wars uh, is still oh. like episode four of the bad batch that doesn't make okay whatever <laughs> yeah <I thought>, uh, <laughs> whatever there we go they're teasing so we'll get us there. we'll get there eventually <laughs> they know what we like uh, uh <laughs> yeah I I can say I really like the most recent episode of the clone. Um, I, I like I was I was like very fine with the first episode of this arc. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's like cool characters, cool introduction. Um, but I thought this was a, a good example of them like now being able to flourish a little more. And I love Rafa. I think Rafa's hilarious. Oh, she's cool. I so, like Rafa. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty excited. And yeah, it was a, it's a good. It's a good uh, jumping board from where it's gonna, where these three characters are gonna go in the next few episodes. I'm very excited. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Sorry. I always like to have like a parameter of what our audience is like by looking at some of the messages we get. And on the chat, we've got uh, Romulus Dev who says, "I want Rafa from the Clone Wars to choke me out and spit on my face." So. <laughs> <laughs> He's in, uh, right chat. in the right, right. chat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like us. <laughs> Support your your decisions and desires. <laughs> You've come to the right podcast, man. Welcome. <laughs> what did you think, Claire? Oh, God. You know, I have to echo that sentiment a little bit. Um, although I'm still kind of schmep, schmerp, burp, burp on um, this arc in general. Just like I said last week, it's hard to to follow up the Bad Batch because it was just so excellent and so highly anticipated for me. Um, I will say that I like this episode better than last week and we had a really cool like clash of worlds where we have like Twilight monarchs and spice running and we're going to Kessel and the pikes are back and that makes me happy because I love the CD underworld like spice running bad boys and girls that we encounter and um, I'm very interested to see how how our ladies get out of this one I'm very I hope that uh, the next episode's as <laughs> action packed as I think it will be I think obviously Rafa is just gonna choke people and spit on them. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get out of this mess. <laughs> she trains I mean, Ahsoka and that's how they defeat more. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Tarno! <laughs> the entire Siege of Mandalore arc is just people getting choked out and spit on. <laughs> that's how the Mandos shine their Mandalorian. helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Romulus Dev follows up with break those long pike necks with those boots stomp on their neck <laughs> it's a very specific kink 
I like it. <laughs> I like it too. I like to think that's oh. what Kira did to uh, Mr. Tulsa as well. She got yes. a nice, nice boot on that. Nose. That's the Quay to do it. Mm-hmm. That's the Quay way. <laughs> the Quay way. <laughs> That's right. You just you just step on their neck and spit on them out. <laughs> spit on their mouth? Is that what you just said? Oh, am I adding more to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, why not? You just whisper in their ear, I have the high ground. Oh, God. Whatever you do, just wash your hands. <laughs> Please, wash your hands. <laughs> True. <laughs> Don't touch your face. Only, Don't touch your face. Only, yeah. only spit on your enemies. That <laughs> is how they get them. That's how you get them. You get. <laughs> That's how coronavirus spread. Oh god! That's, that's how it began. Oh god! <laughs> no bats. Nothing like that. Just spitting on faces. That's yeah. how it started, and that's how it will end. <laughs> it's, uh, everything's circular. So we're going for the wine or like poetry. It rhymes. Oh God! Wait, sorry, did you, what did you say, Charlie? I see that you're going at the wine early today. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I literally can't leave for any reason. I don't have anywhere to go. I have a full fridge. I this is my first glass of the day, though. I will say that I I didn't start before this podcast. So it's like this is my first bottle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> my first second I mean, bottle of the day. Um, Nikki. I buy in boxes. Thank you very much. So I don't know how many bottles I've had today. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're just, I've been through like six pouches that I've just... Six pouches. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm working on that tour de Franzia from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only on my third needle, so it's um, fine. Oh, good. Mm. Good. Oh, I do, I do, I do. You don't want to buy some dev sticks. Um, but yeah, Clone Wars, I can't wait to sort of catch up on the arc. I know it's going to be the, the four episodes, like, so it's the Bad Batch, this arc for four episodes, and then the Siege of Mandalore. A nice little, you know, trilogy of episodes there. Lovely. Lovely. Um, a lot of people are going crazy can't today wait. because uh, Dave Filoni posted the picture from literally five years ago. <laughs> And everyone's going, oh, Rick's going to be in the Mandalorian. I was like, oh, no, he's not. Sure. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're just like, I just like that picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I'm not being cryptic. Okay. I'm not being cryptic, guys. There's oh, also a mention no. about how Claire's got a very cool background and we don't. That's true. I still live in my... Yeah, I do. Thank you for noticing. You guys like my Chewbacca... Surfer dude, Absolutely. he's one of my favorites. I got him for Christmas this year for my brother, and it was an amazing Christmas present. Plus the Salacious Crumb Shrine, which I'm working on getting beautified. So y'all need to step up your background game. Uh, my foreground is a, is a game. <laughs> <laughs> my life is a the game. Thing, the thing in front of me is more interesting than behind, but it's also a mess. I've got these dudes and ladies. I gotta figure out a way to like actually put stuff on my wall because they in my lease they said they'd get mad at me if I hung stuff up. This is the way. Um, yeah, don't don't get make people mad. That's weird, especially during this time. Oh, I got this. <laughs> I got this, homie. Speaking of Mandalorian Legos, hell yeah. Also. The viewers do not know this, but Charlie and Nikki know this. Um, I am just smiling and nodding because I can't see either of them. I can only hear them. <laughs> so they're like, I've got this and that and also this. And I'm like, sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. <laughs> she has carbonite sickness. Her eyesight will return That's in right. time. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Somebody loved you. Um, <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. What a loser. Yeah. Anyway. What, what, what else is <laughs> uh, Not really much going on. We got retweeted by Charles Saul, which was pretty dope this week. Yeah. Pretty dope. 
apparently a few other people made that joke and we got told off for it, but my bad. I didn't see it. Also, I made that joke when I photoshopped a mask on a corn. Did you? T I N E as opposed to T E E N. No, oh, well, that's, you know, not, that's not as funny though. Okay, bitch. That's fine. <laughs> All right, I see how it is. <laughs> fine, fine. Rude. Fine. I didn't think either of them were funny, so there we go. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks for the support, Nikki. The great equalizer. (laughs) You both suck. I hate my own show. Uh, Hey, everyone in the chat, if you want to ask us some questions, feel free to just write something and, you know, ask us some questions. Um, Turbo says, I've got kids to homeschool, otherwise I'll be drunk all day during this lockdown. Oh, bless. (laughs) <laughs> yes, Turbo. I'll send you some Malort <laughs> all the way to Australia. Do that again? No, that was one time. Okay. One time and one time only. Good day, mate. Shrimp on the barbie. Daisy Ridley here. <laughs> Daisy Ridley here. <laughs> Oh, kill me now. Uh, that was a, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Not here to fuck spiders. Oh. Uh, um, what else is ha- Although, have we... Se- okay, sorry, this is a tangent. But no, have tangent, you guys seen ahead. Tracy's leg? I haven't seen it, but I, I read her tweets about it yesterday. She tweeted out a picture of her leg. Um, feminist nerd, if you follow oh, her on the Twitters. Oh, yeah. Um, she got bit by a really fucking scary poisonous spider, which from Australia, which not here to fuck spiders either. As a fellow person who was hospitalized for a spider bite, I don't know what, like she was like yellow and things were swollen and scary looking. And I am not about that. Oh my God. I got one spider bite and I never again, I'm not here to fuck spiders and neither is she apparently. Oh my God. Australia, you crazy place. Anyway, I hope that she's feeling better and that her leg heals up real quick. Ooh. Big same. Uh, yeah, did you just see it, Charlie? Oh, my God. We're, we're all trying to seek out this leg now. Everyone, everyone hang <laughs> out. <laughs> Everybody take a look at her legs. <laughs> Got some nice spider bites up on there. Anyway, I hope you're d- feeling better, Tracy. No, I don't think you're watching, but still. Yeah. I'm thinking sitting, of your leg. Sitting all, I love that way. But oh yeah. gold. Uh, we have a question from uh, the BM ninety six. Do you think the Skywalker saga is finished on the big screen, or do you think they'll continue it in the future sometime? I mean, Dunzos. Dunzos. No. I, I think Dunzos. Uh, let me just look at my complete saga box set, <laughs> featuring missing three of the episodes. Hang on. Uh, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it might come back. <laughs> I do not think there will be an episode, or if there's an episode 10, I do not think it'll be the Skywalker side. I think it will be. Yeah. Let's all stay tuned for the Skywalker saga to the search for more money. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> Mel Brooks said it best, people. <laughs> the money will keep, will bring them back. <laughs> the merchandising, merchandising. I'll tell you what, I've got my wallet out already. Just give him that sweet, mm-hmm. sweet movie. I'll be there. But yeah, um, I think they might. I feel like the Skywalker saga is always the, the, the ground to tread. It's what people keep wanting to come back for, mm. I think. But, you know, and, and they did leave us with a brand new Skywalker at the end of Rise of Skywalker. So, you know, as long as there's a Skywalker out there, there's going to be Skywalker Saga movies, so... The Tentacle uh, nah, Pope. My Ray, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she's not a Skywalker, she's a fake Skywalker. She stayed on Tatooine. Fake fan. She stayed on Tatooine. <laughs> she likes the sand. Um, yeah, no, I think we... You know, you know never know. Uh, 2025, baby, that's yeah. where it's at. That's right. <laughs> 
What else is up in the chat? How's it going, Roar Farm Boy? Hi, buddy. We, I am doing well. Uh, I let the others. I won't speak for the others. I let them. I let them say how well they're doing. Thank you for for not speaking for me because I'm doing terribly because I'm stuck chatting with you two. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Love you guys. I'm very very sad. Um. <laughs> All, all good? Yeah? Are we all fine? Sounds about right. Yeah. No, I, I'm okay. Let's... Yeah, Hayley Solis is at best. Anything pre-corona is a blur to me. <laughs> <laughs> Was celebration been real? El Diablito. Hey, we're all fun oh boys, God. Joined. Also, I... I, 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 I just summer. Romulus... Oh, awkward. Oh, did you? My bad. Wow. Look, it's it's nearly nine o'clock over here. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Charlie's like anything post two minutes ago is a blur to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the post corona war now. <laughs> <laughs> Time is a construct. Uh, yeah. Um yeah, Romulus Dev keeps asking the great questions. Um so apologies for keep reading these out, but he, uh, they ask, what about Admiral Trench? Would any of you fuck Admiral Trench? Um, if you don't watch The Clone Wars, Admiral Trench is a big spider cyborg. Um, He's literally the stuff of my nightmares. The answer is yes, absolutely. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Imagine being spooned by a nice, cuddly spider. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Who wins in a oh dildo God, war? No, oh, no, it's like going to itch my entire life. General body. Grievous and Admiral Trent. Oh, that's, ah! that, that's a good fight. I don't know who wins, but we all lose. <laughs> that's what happens. Ooh, my whole skin. Admiral all of my skin. Trench, uh, Admiral Trent is more armed, but Grievous <laughs> has rotator. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I just, I'm sorry. I'm just like... You know, like, when you think of a spider, like, a really scary picture of a spider, and you're, like, all your skin breaks out into goosebumps, and, like, everything's crawling? I just pictured it getting spooned with all eight legs wrapping around me, and I just can't sit still now. It's so like scary. the face huggers an alien oh. around on your body. I hate it so much. Have you ever oh had God. one of those nights where you're really, like, <sighs> like you're really sad, and then your, your significant other just... You feel them breathing in your neck, and all you hear is a nice little. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Also, if you didn't notice, I was freaking out. So the cat has come to comfort me. Oh, everyone! If you didn't watch last week's episode, this is Dooku. This is Class Cat. Count Dooku, Lord of Sereno. I'm glad that I put his bow tie on for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, El Diablo. El Diablo. I can't. Even, I can never say that properly. Uh, Symphony El- Two says we want to launch a proton torpedo in Trench's trench. Absolutely. <laughs> You're right. I will no gently caress <laughs> your button. <laughs> yes, please. Alert, Count Dooku, that I have entered the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to um, <laughs> this Count Dugu takes personal offense to that, st- that statement there. Use the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I will predict their sexual strategies <laughs> and, and pick the position for my oh God. troops. So oh, speak. oh, God. Good soldiers, follow orders. <laughs> <laughs> that clone is defective. <laughs> oh, no. uh, another another point here from Ryan oh. with Dev Riff Tams and worst separatist in bed by far. Just flops <laughs> around like a fish out of water. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh. He's terrible, yeah. Oh man. Although if you're into biting, not a bad partner to pick. Just saying. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, bite your neck. <laughs> Who would be the sexiest separatist? That's a, that's a quiz. Uh, if you want to give, yeah. <laughs> give your answer, give your answer. I feel like we need Romulus Dev on a like 
an <laughs> exclusive report on this one. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, listen to the babble bubble, everyone. Uh, but yeah, hmm, sexiest separatists. Emma, M, 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 M Nara with Ventress. I mean, that's the obvious shout, sure. I think. Yeah. Depends. Yeah, I guess she was with the separatists at one point. Um, Oh, everyone keeps having uh, Ventress. Um, I mean, I think we got to go for something a little more, a little more avant-garde here. Uh, we know what tambours into nipple play. Yeah, uh, the the BM ninety six has just said the guy who changes his voice via knobs on his body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, but <laughs> counterpoint, counterpoint again. Watch him more. Only tweaks his nipples, never yours. <laughs> um, that's the official hmm. line for a. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> yes, this is this is a deep this is a deep question. <laughs> We're gonna venture outside the realms of venture. Um, Sam Hill, Sam I mean, Hill do will do whatever you want. Clearly, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> clearly, I'm like so boring because I'm sitting here like, come on, Rush, Rush Clovis was pretty hot, or am I right now? But clearly, I'm not thinking outside the box enough. Rush Clovis would finish and then walk away. <laughs> oh, minutes. no doubt. Sounds like a lot of men I know. <laughs> he'd only screen. he only screen Padme's name. <laughs> Sounds about right. I Sounds think about right. Because Silk pajamas are pretty hot. They are pretty hot. So they are really hot. That's a good thing. I, again, Grievous, Grievous can have some pretty interesting actions going on. Can you imagine his head poking um, out of the, the duvet and going, "What the situation?" <laughs> 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 oh dear. Although he's oh, co- he, he coughs a lot, so he's not someone you want to be with right now. <laughs> oh lordy uh, Rick uh, V Poggle the lesser probably Poggle the greater oh. downstairs am I right oh my god <laughs> that's a really bad purr yeah, I'm sorry to let you down alright well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I probably shouldn't go into this you know like have you ever heard like that you should like hum like or something when you're you know all the going downstairs can you imagine the weird noises that pog the lesser man that would be crazy shenanigans man crazy shenanigans give a whole new meaning to click clack (laughs) (laughs) i'm gonna catch the click clack (laughs) (laughs) click clap The click clap. <laughs> uh, so uh, Rick oh, Rick V seventy eight uh, says nude gun ray. <laughs> nude gun ray. <laughs> nude. Gun. You take your bra. Yes. And you just, now there are two of them. <laughs> now there are two of them. <laughs> Shoot her or something. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> she can't do it. He gets cut by the other the other dude in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! He's in the cupboard watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're still getting through. <laughs> Sir, they got the ventilation shaft. <laughs> oh. <what? laughs> Uh, I'm so scared of this conversation. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> this is what we do. This oh. is what you do when the Rona is around. Yeah. We, and this you gotta, is an important uh, subject. Mm-hmm. People have questions. Asking the real we questions. We should be giving press in conferences <laughs> in front of the American oh. media and media of the world. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so based on that discussion, I want you all now to vote in the uh, the stream chat who's the sexiest separatist. And we'll have the official count <laughs> and see where that goes. We will. Please, Rick. please vote. Someone's put backdoor pilot. Lovely. 
<laughs> Poggle clearly says Romulus Dev. <laughs> there we go. That's one for oh, go clearly. One for Poggle, one for Dooku. Um, Sam says I'm laughing so much it's oh. annoying my dog. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, two for Poggle. <laughs> Poggle the Greater. Can I throw a vote in there? Am I allowed to vote? Two for Ventress. Uh, Romulus Dev says, works for dudes too. Imagine that clicking and buzzing on your butthole. Oh, clearly. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I have to stop myself from not imagining. (laughs) I think Poggle's going to win this. Oh, no. no, It's a a draw. Poggle Poggle and Ventress are neck and neck. Those are not the two I would have imagined. Someone call (laughs) Rafa. <laughs> oh, got oh, there we go. Um, Andy coming in. Watt Tambor. And Watt, Andy that was my in. vote. I like the Watt Tambor vote as well. You made a solid argument for Watt. Brand new definition for tossing the salad. What? Oh, what, 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 what would <laughs> Fraser be like if he was part of the Separatist Alliance? <laughs> <laughs> Fraser? <laughs> <laughs> Gino's in salad. Niles, I told you to attack. No, I'm Italian. (laughs) Good heavens, Niles. Oh, God. I just picture him. The clones are calling. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. I think that was a draw between Ventress and Poggle. So I guess we'll never know. Well voted, guys. Yeah. We'll never know. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Some beautiful well stuff. Uh, uh, we've also got some news this week that two classic Star Wars video games are being re-released on Nintendo Switch and the PS4. Star Wars Episode One Racer and Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. The latter will have online modes. Dang. Did you guys yeah, play either game? What are you know? And will you be getting the new ones? So much Racer. So much. Oh, all of the time. My. I and, uh, still have my Nintendo 64 and I still play it. And I put it on my big T TV and does it like make me feel like I'm about to have a seizure? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> do I do it anyway? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> so good. Um man, it was I yeah, I recently because I never owned an N64, mm. but I, I recently went to a used game store and bought the cartridges for Racer and uh, Rogue Squadron, and yes. I borrowed my friend's N64, and I plugged that thing in. Holy crap, homie! Whoever turned Episode One Racer is a goddamn legend because I turned that thing on, fully like upgraded Ben Quadranero, um, like all the maps unlocked. It was yes. Amazing. It was like doing all the hard work for me, all for fifteen bucks. I love that they were a Ben Quadranero stan. Because he mm-hmm. is the king. Gotta Although I was a Gasagango yeah. girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Total yeah. Gasagango girl. Also, I just like saying that. <laughs> I never actually had either game. You know, I didn't play the other one, the Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Mm-mm. Not familiar with it. But it looks fun. I like the idea of being able to like fully customize my Jedi. Um, and like... You know, play capture the flag and stuff. So, I don't yeah. know. Are you guys going to get any of them? Either of them? Maybe if they go on sale or something, but I'm not in a rush right now. Yeah. I would need a Switch or a PS4. For oh, it. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd be more likely to get the Switch just to have like a mobile kind of thing. But I Animal don't... Crossing. Animal Crossing. You won't, you won't catch me on there. No, I want... Why? It's just not for me. Why is it not for you? It's for everybody. Mm. <laughs> I, I literally know. named I'm, my island Koak. I've ne- you can never been. Kowak. I've never been into those kind of like whimsical, aimless games. But I literally can't go outside, and this way I can catch fish and butterflies and run around in the grass and plant trees. Makes me feel like I have a life. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'd rather just sad nap. Sad nap. <laughs> yeah. That's um, what I do normally though, so. No, if uh, uh, if they come in and they're they're putting more on the table here and it's like you know, we're going to start bringing back some more classic Star Wars games. 
then you know what? I'm, I'm going to be part of that conversation. I'll, I'll start listening. But I, I, I always fear that I'd like get a switch and be like, Razor, 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 play for 10 minutes and then like forget about it. <laughs> uh, Samwise Organa says in chat, um, <clears throat> PSA, I'm a streaming Animal Crossing after this ISP episode. So make sure to go follow them and you can watch them play on the Yes! Website. That sounds so relaxing. I would love to play it. Put on my pajamas, have a glass of wine, watch someone, like, find fossils and stuff. Like, yeah. I'd love to do it, but, you know. I haven't got a switch, I'm afraid. I'll just push my brothers over and steal theirs, I guess. Um. Yep. You were here first. Yeah. They I'm, can deal. I'm, I'm more carbon dated than you. Push them over. Um, we've got a few questions in the chat. Uh, so M. Nara says um, Jedi Academy had the best lightsaber multiplayer until Battlefront 2 in her opinion which is awesome um, she also says I'm for Switch I know I I'm sorry her. Emma uh, the BM96 says isn't there a rumour that there's a ba- uh, Boba Fett game in development I think uh, there was more news about Star Wars 1313 which was a game from what like 10 years ago now which was going to be a Boba Fett game but was cancelled that's that was part of Lucasfilm that uh, LucasArts sorry that won't be happening uh, ironically our, our live streaming system you have to pick a game to say that we're playing but we don't actually play games on this yet so we we automatically pick Star Wars 1313 because it, it, it doesn't exist so we just you yep. know say whoops um, but you know it would have been it, it looked really cool I, I wish they could do some of that I think the uh, Clone Wars episodes this week Referenced uh, thirteen thirteen. I think they referenced it in Rebels or something as well, which is pretty cool. That's like yeah, it's like where they're hanging out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Peace out. Um, the Silver Angel. Oh, Josh Woody says yeah, there, there was more screenshots that came out this week, so that's why it's in the news. Ah, uh, uh, so there you go. Uh, are you planning on streaming a game to Haley Solo? I'd love to if I can work out how to yeah. do it. We do. We I do. think if I, I can might also. Out, yeah. I think Nikki yeah, might be you doing can listen first. to me. Yeah, Nikki's probably going to be number one. You can listen to my bad, like, really stupid commentary when I play Battlefront 2 poorly. That's probably the freaking <laughs> game that I will go with. I think um, what we might do is we, we do Battlefront 2 sessions. If you, if you haven't played with us before, we me and Claire usually just play Battlefront 2 online with a group of fans. So if you want to join our Facebook uh, Battlefront 2 group you can join in uh, we should do some, Network. yeah we should do one of those uh, soon since the coronavirus we is should. gone uh, maybe we'll try and stream it if we can that'd be fun I would be down I don't know if I can I don't know how to you can see how bad stuff. I am the whole world can we, 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 I really wanna <laughs> I really wanna play um, Republic Commando on a on a stream and have have you get kind of hang in there so that's that's something I mean, might come in the near f- fuck yeah I like that um, I would say though that with the uh, pod race game one of my best memories of celebration involves that game which is last year when they did the live game stream session with uh, some of the that actors that was so great and um, poor Daniel who I always have to apologise for who I'm friends with. No, was. no. You don't have to apologize to Daniel. Okay. <laughs> he knew what he was getting into. <laughs> well, I'm friends with Daniel, who works, who used to work for Lucasfilm, and they set up the live gaming stream. They had uh, Sam Witwer, uh, Daniel Logan, Junie Nikovanka, who else was there? Uh, Anthony Carboni. And they were playing, I think Janina was playing the pod racing game. And as soon as, she, I, I wrote a message out knowing it would pop up on the big screen for everyone to see. So it awesome. just as she crashed and it just popped up on the big screen. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And um, <laughs> I got berated by Darth Maul and Boba Fett within about five seconds, mm-hmm. which is always a, it's always a good thing. It was awesome. Um, I also really enjoyed watching Sam Witwer play uh, as Star Killer himself <laughs> yeah. and him just like messing around. I'm like, this is so meta. And, I uh, love everything that's happening right now. David Collins was there too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was yeah, hosting. David was hosting it, wasn't he? No. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. 
love David Carradine. There was a moment where great panel. Sam Whitwell was playing himself, forcing people up in the air, and then David Collins was just doing the voice of Proxy next to him. Like, Master, <laughs> you're throwing yes. him very nicely. <laughs> so crazy. So a magic celebration. <laughs> LD Ablito oh. turning the chat into a Sam Whitworth or a dig it. LD Ablito doing it right. <laughs> oh, we're going up to Sam Whitworth. He's the nicest dude. The first ever celebration I went to, I went round the stage, um, the Star Wars show stage. It was much smaller back then. And it was in London, and I was like so nervous. And I could see the back, like when they were coming down. And he was like meeting people and taking pictures and stuff. And I was just like, I really want to say hello and take a picture, but I'm just too nervous. And I was like panicking. I was like, I'm really socially anxious. And I was about to go in front. It was, he had to leave. And I was like, okay, I'm about to go. And then someone pushes in front of me and gives the camera to him. And he takes the picture. And I'm like, oh, well, he has to go, so I'm going to leave. And then he like grabs my arm, turns me around. And he's like, hey, takes my phone, takes a picture of him. And I was like, I was like, thank you, Darth Maul. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Darth Maul, sir. <laughs> uh, I I agree that Kenobi's a shit. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, uh, Andy says I was next to Charlie during the uh, the game panel. That was hilarious. It was so. That was it, so fun. <laughs> it was the best. It was the best panel. If you ever if if, you, if celebration is this year. I doubt I'll be going, but if you if you if it does go ahead, you gotta go to the panel because that was that was you know next level. It was a riot, yeah. Do we even think celebration will go ahead this year? I'm like really fifty fifty, just because. Yeah. I think people are. I think it's better to assume. No. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But but that late summer. Is still kind of up in the air. Um, it's a long so way know. from now. Yeah, I think it's hopeful. It's it's hopeful to think that it will. But yeah, I'm not. I'm trying not to think about it too much. <laughs> yeah, keep your expectations all low. <laughs> all I know is it's all I have, and if it is it postponed or canceled, then I, I'll cry. Yeah. yeah. All I, all I'm going to turn to the bottle. You're going to turn to the bottle. Don't do it. <laughs> also, I put Rebellion Join me, Bill Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think this sounds like, it's like a really like brooding and mopey and disappointing, like lame thing to say. But judging by my track record so far this year, I just expect to be let down. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. <laughs> I just kind of expect everything to let me down. So I'm keeping my my expectations low so that I can wallow in like a medium state of depression always so that when it does get canceled, I don't plummet. I just slightly dip, you know? Because if I keep my hopes up here, I'll be way, way down there. So, I mean, yeah. Mediumly uh, depressed. Yay. That's the thing. Tur- <laughs> Turbo says, is what I'm thinking as well, was that he says, I doubt we'll be able to get into the country in August. And I, that's what I'm kind of leaning with. I doubt we'll be even yeah. able to leave to get to celebration, which is a shame. But Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't even put us in for the podcast stage yet. I probably should get on that. <laughs> May oh, yeah. Well. May as I, well. I mean, I as well try, I guess. I have something and then if we... on file. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. At the risk of turning this into like a conversation about the Rona, mm. I think I think it's very it's very optimistic to think that like we'll have much control over the situation even by the end of the summer. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It's I I hope, but cause I just want to see all these lovely people in, in the chat. So many of them yes. I know have plans to be there and it it makes this old decrepit socially isolated heart even sadder to think that it wouldn't happen but yeah. but yeah well just see we gotta see 
Oh, we've got someone in chat that says uh, the BM96 put happier note. Last Friday, 44 years ago, A New Hope started filming. Yes. I was yes, it there. did. <laughs> big chilling. <laughs> I'm, the pink, I'm the pink shorts guy with this <laughs> microphone. He uh, looks just obviously. like you, Nikki. Obviously. Oh my God, I knew it. Just chilling in, you know. Chilling in the desert, looking that, at the twin sun. Those are the shorts I'm wearing right now. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, just, baby. Mm-hmm. I can't see because I still can't see either of you on video, but I trust um, you, Nikki. <laughs> Claire's like, are you kidding me? I'm blind. Yeah, pretty much. Claire. Yes. Okay, no, no. Just wanted to talk wow. um, <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> um... I, I feel I, like I'm being left out of something here. He just he just punched a Kawaki monkey lizard. <laughs> okay, well you? that's me. It's fine. <laughs> you are fucking lucky that there's like major issues on travel right now. Otherwise, I would fly there, kick your ass, and fly back immediately. Now say that again in the Liam Neeson accent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I'm fuck with my Kawaki monkey lizard? <laughs> I have very particular skill. I do. <laughs> Um, She's going to stick that cat on you. I was actually in A New Hope <laughs> as well. I played the CGI rock in front of R2-D2. Oh. Did you? Mm. I'm a do-back. I'm a CGI do-back. Oh, when, when do you have to go? What? When do you have to go? What do you mean? You do-back. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> All right. It's been fun, guys. Great show. <laughs> Nikki just gets a gun out. It's like... <laughs> now... Now we're... I guess the Rona will take me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, dear. Um, <sighs> Hades says, this, oh, but the tickets will only be $2. I guess what, to go to celebration? <laughs> yeah, but look, we can't get through fucking... Uh, the ticket barrier <laughs> jump through <laughs> be like that guy in that, I'm uh, going to Galaxy's Edge whether Disney's open or not <laughs> oh boy it's just me on my own <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> just one poor Mickey Mouse oh, guy no. after, you know, all the kids <laughs> and stuff um, are they going to refund us on that Star Wars night <laughs> that's my question <laughs> <laughs> what Star Wars night yeah, like oh, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I got him put up. <laughs> oh, Goofy! Oh, we're all fine here. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Goofy got the shotgun. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Get your foot with the wrong folks. Um, that would be fun. Like a post-apocalyptic Disney world. Uh, should we get in some of the questions that we got from last time? Let's do it. Question. On Facebook, Josh Roach asked, Who is Ray's mummy? Who is Ray's mummy Ooh. and where does she come mummy? from? Mate? He doesn't say that. Um, <laughs> Who's Ray's mummy? Was she selected <laughs> to Sire? Mr. Sire. A Palpatine heir. After the Rise of Skywalker novelization, let us know that Palpatine's son was actually his clone and was kept around to Sire and heir by more conventional means. Begs a question. Was Ray's mum also specially selected? Mm. Would it be Desi I feel like she's gotta be. Or like if she's the, the female clone of Palpatine. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Palpatine fucking himself. <laughs> it's like in a video game when you're like creating a character and you make all the set and like swap it. Yeah. <laughs> and everything stays the same. <laughs> but just male, female... Is that how that? <laughs> exactly. They know all. Ha- they have to please each other because they're the same person. To be fair, yeah, then you would know exactly what the other person wants. I'm sure they were very sexually compatible. Siring said, "Air." I mean, look at Ray. They made a yeah. da- they made a Daisy Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, it all they done good in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I want to oh make a Daisy God. Ridley. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wait, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's, who's the mom? Okay, Sorry, so... Ruth. Who's mummy? 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 
Mom? Um, Where's my mom? <laughs> so, I think she was a reporter who was working on a case of secret clones hanging around Coruscant. Mm -hmm. And one of these clones broke free with her help. And they found love in a hopeless place. <laughs> and then they made a Daisy Ridley. Daisy they, Ridley. <laughs> Daisy Ridley here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're just out Sorry. of the womb. Um, oh, she said she came and out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Uber. Uber. <laughs> Daisy Ridley here. <yeah. laughs> Oh, <laughs> and then, um, and then they went on the run from the Rona. <laughs> from the Rona. I That's think a that. lot better of a story than I could come with. I just thought maybe she was hot. <laughs> I think she's a small town girl living in a lonely world, and she took the midnight uh, sub track to Coruscant. The midnight sheave. <laughs> <laughs> she took the midnight <laughs> she'd go with anywhere. Um, I mean, she did take him. There's child evidence of that. <laughs> child evidence. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, offspring, to prove it. Uh, so, Turbo says, now that we know that Palpy's son is a clone, do you still think she fucks? I mean, it doesn't matter that he's cloned. He's still, pr still proof that he fucks. He's clone fucked. He's just even more energetic. He's doing clone it. fucked. Oh, yeah, clone did it. Clone did it. Mm, maybe. Technically. It just yeah, he'd be more energetic doing it. Just imagine he'd be more energetic. Yeah, because he's young and fit. He didn't want to break a hip. You so know? Mm. by the same logic, by the same logic, it, bone. <laughs> is Rex is Rex <laughs> Django's son? By the same logic. Mm. Daddy. <laughs> Can you imagine if they re-release Attack of the Clones and instead of just Boba Fett kneeling afterwards, like a million clones just all <laughs> to kneel as well? <laughs> it's like Jango. Jango just wanted the clone army to bone. <laughs> Attack of the Bone Army, am I right? As uh, as Rick V seventy eight says, clone bone. Clone bone. Curious. He only had one stipulation. <laughs> oh yes, what was that? <laughs> he wanted them to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! They had to put the inhibitor chips in so they stop touching each other. <laughs> <laughs> Good soldiers, follow orders. Is that actually Order sixty nine? <gasps> absolutely. There of course, we go. It is, absolutely. We've uncovered a plot. <laughs> Keep oh, the secret, we must. <laughs> for the clones to fuck. Jesus Christ, someone's put, is masturbating the same as killing younglings? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> Do they mean this in, like, Order 66? And <laughs> in that case, yes. But, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Halo Sally says, um, Palpatine and Monica Lewis get in the fur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Monica. Monica Lewis. I love. Oh, uh, oh Monica. Oh my god, that's amazing. Monica. That. <laughs> oh my god. The banking clan will sign your treaty. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, do you want to read that uh, Obi Wan message? Me? Yeah, so the, the BM96. Do you want to read that? Oh, uh, okay. You wanted them to fuck. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Have you ever been oh, to the... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Have you ever been to the fuck brothels of Canto Minor? <laughs> Perhaps. What's the point? <laughs> I'm just a man trying to fuck my way in this galaxy. <laughs> Over. Hide, the <laughs> <laughs> Hide the sex toys. 
Close the laptop. Pick your things, man. God. Oh, I mean, I not think of the logistics of any of those scenes. I'm just going to try and be cuts, blissfully ignorant to all of that. It just cuts to like a like a sexy live chat of like Commander Cody. <laughs> Magnificent, aren't they? <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> Oh lord! <laughs> when they hear them say "Roger, Roger," <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> They're all over me. <laughs> Buzz droids. Oh god! I'm gonna go help. <laughs> no, we have a job to do. <laughs> <laughs> They're just joking at the cockpit. <laughs> it's like Anakin, you've helped them out enough. <laughs> this is their this is their time. Love happy landing. <laughs> oh. oh man. Um, <laughs> Don't put next R2. question. R2, <laughs> see what you can do back there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. Get him, R2. Try not to upset them, Anakin. <laughs> Hit the center eye. Ah, boy. We have fun. I'm just gonna hide over here. I'm gonna hide over here. <sighs> it's a warm in here. <laughs> Annie, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh, uh, next, God. next question. <laughs> yeah, I think my the answer next to that question. Was like, yeah, uh, raised mummy was specially selected. Um, at Cad Cad Bane's bounty on Twitter asks: Trace, Rafa, and Ahsoka are traveling to Kessel from Coruscant. What songs are on the hyperspace playlist? A lot of Bikini Kill. That's my thought. Nikki. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. I think I feel like Ahsoka's listening to listening to some good sort of like R and B, like some like TLC kind of no scrubs. But because she kind of just yes. she kind of just went through like she went through like a breakup of sort with her, her previous life, and she's kind of like, but she's not like you know she, she she took some hits, but she's also over that shit because she's like you know what. They're a bunch of losers. Because cause when uh, Trace is like, eh, Jedi aren't built up, up to be. And Ahsoka's about to be like, I'm just like, no, wait, she got... Nah, and, she's um, wrong. So I, I think Ahsoka's vibing on some of that. Um, Trace is listening to some Hopeful. She's she's pretty shoot for the star. And uh, I don't know. What the, I don't know what a good song for that might be. I love it, the underdogs on top. And I'm going to shine, homie, into my heart. So, yeah, envy me. I'm Reps MVP, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. She's listening to that. Mm-hmm. Specifically that. that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's me stepping very awkwardly and quietly and we doing a little bit of hand motion. The Claire mumble at it. Um, I'm a mumble rapper, by the way. That's my genre, <laughs> mumble rap. <laughs> and I only mumble because I am very self-conscious while I do it. <laughs> And uh, Raph is listening to that. I don't remember the name of the song. This could be the name of the song, but it's like the "Bitch Better Have My Money" one. Oh my god! Yes, they better have her money. Mm-hmm. I think it's okay. It's going to be listening to um, Justin Timberlake "Cry Me a River" because <laughs> <laughs> she's upset, but she wants revenge, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh Claire, there's your rap name, El Diablito. Your name is Post Malort. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. That's. I am so honored. That is such a good rap name, Post Malort. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I like that one. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's very fitting. I also think, realistically, she should probably listen to that rock song that Zeb was listening to in Rebels. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, lordy. While they're eating some space walk in the back. I bet it's... I bet Ahsoka, like, only listens to, like, Steely Dan or, like, whatever Obi-Wan had on in the car or the spaceship, you know? Oh, yeah. Something that your dad would listen to. Definitely influenced by your Jedi dads. Oh, no doubt. So, I think, yeah, the Ahsoka question is also a question. For sure. What did they listen to? Anakin listened to a lot of, like, like, pop punk I can imagine him being like a big Paramore fan and like listening to like really whiny. I was about to say um, melodramatic music. He'd be listening to Panic at the Disco and All American Rejects. Oh my god! <laughs> I joined in with the haven't you people ever heard of? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you my dirty little secret. It's him like with Padme. Oh my god! His dirty little secret. Yes, he would listen to All American Rejects. And My Chemical Romance. I yeah. see him as an MCR fan as well. Yeah, same wise, but like My early Chemical Romance. Romance. Definitely. Definitely what? My Chemical Obi-Wan. Romance. I'd... Rush. I think Obi-Wan listened to some... Like... <laughs> I think Obi-Wan listened to like Roots Rock, like, like some CCR kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. He was... Yeah. I could see that. He definitely had Almond Brothers on. Mm-hmm. R.E.M. For sure. And again, it, it all stems back to their parents. So it's like, what did <laughs> what did his space dad listen to? What did he what pass did on to him? Like, Qui Gon was like Willie Nelson. No, Qui Gon's into skull. Qui Gon was like Willie Nelson. Yeah. Qui Gon's a Willie Nelson kind of. I think he'd be like a skull. I could also see him listening to like really nature inspired like whale sound tapes and stuff like that. <laughs> I feel like that was their theme. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you're stereotyping me. <laughs> no, I think you'd be like a scar man. You could just imagine him walk, walking a in. Scar man, Qui Gon. Yeah. Scar yeah, man. Scar. <laughs> Listen to the specials, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Listen to Ghost Town when his one becomes one of the Force. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish from Rick. <laughs> 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 Love oh, it. Lord. Love it. I like. Uh, I like the idea. I feel like Obi Wan in his youth would have been fan a fan of like Blues Traveler. Mm-hmm. You know, and he's going through his rebellious phase, but the hook brings him back. But then he's but he's kind of square while he's doing it too. You know. What about on Tatooine? What's he listening to on Tatooine? Obi Wan. Mm. A lot of my heart will go on by Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Just on repeat. He spent the first two weeks <laughs> curled up in a blanket listening to "My Heart Will Go On" on repeat. Yeah, not burn, baby, burn this green inferno. <laughs> 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 Probably not. No, oh, that's mean. Uh, Haley Solo says Yoda was into Mozart. Oh, for sure. Well, he lived back when he when Mozart was pumping that. <laughs> he was kicking alive. It with Mozart. Yeah. <laughs> At Mozart's first concert, I was. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was. I also like the idea of him being really hip. <laughs> Dank shit, this is. <laughs> Dank shit, this is. Oh my! Oh my. He likes like rap, famous. but only ninety. Uh, yeah. Nineties <laughs> rap, hell yeah. As he is himself a biggie. Oh, he has a biggie small. He has mm-hmm. the cutest biggie small. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh uh, man. Yeah, this could be a very the long, long series. <laughs> <laughs> Only two there are West Coast and East Coast. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> which one's but which one is the master? Which one is the apprentice? Don't get me started. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that's good. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah. I think that is that Next what, about, what about Luke? What about the OT yeah. crew? Luke. Oh, what does Luke listen to? Hmm. Again, not to not to push the point too far, 
but you got to think about what lit my music was in his house growing up. Right. Uh, so like, well, again, and Sinatra turns the question of what the fuck did Uncle Owen and Aunt Brie listen? Sinatra. Yeah. Owen and Brew were listening to a lot of like Barry Manilow. <laughs> <laughs> like that's their vibe. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah. but then, but then you know, then he grows out of it. He grows out of it. What phase do you think he would get into once he leaves? <laughs> Han gives him Does some mixtapes. Hang on, to- right. yeah. Han, Han, <laughs> Han expands his mind. I, I don't know, but pre Han mind expansion, I feel like he also is like totally the Disney soundtrack kind of kid. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, that kid knows every word to the Moana soundtrack. Or he's got, like, tapes on tapes of the sing-alongs. Oh! I just had, like, a childhood flashback. Yes! Uh, Oh, my God! (gasps) I forgot about those. I love to those. Do (gasps) your favorite Disney song. Follow the magic ball. Oh, my God. That just reopened, like... A part of my childhood that was forgotten. Holy shit. The thing is that Luke listens to it when wow. he's 19. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. He's on that Disney Classics channel on Spotify. <laughs> Han's yeah, listening to like is. the Foo Fighters and Luke's like, we don't have to listen he's to this. He's totally singing. <laughs> to <film> Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, his entire like A New Hope soundtrack could probably just be... Um, on her like the Hercules song, I can find my way, I can go the distance. I'll be there someday. <laughs> no chance. I no know way. every I mile. Say, I'm in <laughs> love with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> no chance, no way, but you are Luke. <laughs> you are. We we can see it. Get a little smoke. Oh, Ez- Ezra would be Aladdin. <laughs> Oh, oh, Ezra yeah. is totally one jump ahead of the riffraff. <laughs> one swing Prince, ahead of the sword. One jump ahead of the one part. <laughs> <laughs> I the one can part. show you the ghost. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Shining, shimmering, splendid. <laughs> Tell me, Soka. <laughs> <Where did you? laughs> Not get shot at by people. How can we stop the Sith? <laughs> because that's all I want to do. Do. A whole new move. <laughs> he's rebuilt oh, his legs and he's back again. <laughs> no one to time can know about But yeah, I think that's what they what they listen to. Emma says Rage Against the Machine would be a good one. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. No, I take my bikini kill back. Leia is a lot of like hardcore feminist pop like punk. Leia is like ready to fucking fight the system. That's Pussy what Leia is listening to. Pussy Riot, yes. Oh my god, she's gonna kill you. Yeah, I also want to believe she listens to some Latin pop. Having Ooh. having Jimmy Smith as as the dad. Yes. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good sort of you know inspiration. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy. You got Josh, Josh Woody, Layers of Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Oh, Janice Joplin. Fleetwood Jopin. Mac. Emma says Janice, Janice, Janice Joplin. Yeah. Joplin. That's a good Hell yeah. And um, what about uh, The Runaways? Yeah. Yeah. See it? Come here. Bye, Come Rick. Here. Uh, Rick's leaving. Everyone's like, goodbye, Rick. Bye, Rick. Happy belated birthday. Bye. His birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy oh, birthday. H- HB. Hi, Rick. I think we've got, we've got one more question. Yes. Uh, at Georgie94739010. It says, Kylo Ren or Darth Vader, and why? Well, is this, is this open-ended? Or are they like, is it Kylo Ren or Darth Vader? Kylo Ren Surf- or Darth things. Vader. Their surfing skills or just... I believe, it, I believe it's I believe it's his surfing skills, yes. Okay. Darth Kylo's Vader. got the hair for it. Oh! 
Kylo looks the part on a surfboard, but he like very much falls off every five seconds. <laughs> well, because he gets frustrated and chops him, falls, so he never looks. That too. That too. Um. Yeah, yeah, Anakin's got that chosen one confidence that he probably would just get up and do it mm-hmm. first time. Mm-hmm. Are we still talking about surfing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we need, we needed to settle that one. First. Well, we knew he could get up and do it the first time because Luke and Leia happened. So I, I feel like Kylo would be good though as well because you saw how he's, he took. I thought before like he might be worried about his hair, but we saw how he took all the water in Episode Nine. So I feel like he, well, he did. He did take that like a champ. He did, yes. And so did Adam Driver, according to the behind the scenes documentary. He thought it was so much fun to be freezing cold and not be able to breathe and still have to do fight sequences. So, uh, Emma, oh, Emma says, uh, Chewbacca is the surfer. <laughs> Claire. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know what? I think that settles it because Chewbacca taught Ben how to surf. Ooh. There you go. There we go. Clearly. Oh. Clearly, I, clearly one. it is. No contest. Okay. Who but. would you rather try and put together a piece of IKEA furniture with? Who? Oh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say Kylo because I feel like Ky- Kylo will take his anger out on the furniture, whereas Vader will choke you for not building it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Will you? But your furniture will never be done, but your windpipe will be intact. Yeah, that's a good point. I would say that's where I stand because I feel like he has extra. He's got like bits in his like suit. He might have like he could take his finger off and it'd be a screwdriver. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, And Alan wrench my ass. We got Vader. (laughs) Prepare my finger for my arrival. (laughs) That's also what he said to Papa. Um, And yeah, that's exactly. (laughs) He's one. He's more Nilsson than man now. <laughs> Twisting an eel. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I think he has like extra bits that he can help with the IKEA furniture. Kylo would just destroy it, which, you know, you've bought an IKEA furniture, so the, even though it's reasonably priced, you still spent decent money on good quality. Um, this is actually yeah. sponsored by IKEA. And I also feel like Kylo would, <laughs> would be more likely to read the instructions as opposed to Vader, who would just. <laughs> do it on his own and then he'd like probably miss a few pieces oh but then again he is very technologically savvy he did build c3po that's what i'm him, thinking so. i think he he just knows how to do it he's a yeah. proper diy man whereas kylo is a bit of a he, he he's got the instructions but he's still he thinks he's, he's too cocky he just goes ahead i'm just imagining now Oops. i'm just imagining a man at the radar technician style like holding <laughs> the instructions he's like but the drawing is not accurate to the human eye <laughs> oh my god how do you interpret this I, I do think as well like the thing with Vader is that if you were to get in an altercation with your son he, that's a, there's a pretty decent cabinet he can throw at him now mm. like in um, yeah. Cloud City that is a good point right, but mm. if, you, if Ben's there he's destroyed it so he's fucked just saying <laughs> if you want to if you want to wound a teenage son build a cabinet Oh god! <laughs> That's why he keeps it around. Uh, the BM ninety six says Dex would be running the beach bar for the last question. Oh, oh yes. God. Depends. So not that I Jawa do want juice. a cup of Jawa juice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Depends. Um, on how you manage hey, What do you know? <laughs> do we need to oh, sufficiently my. answer the question of like which character? Is that the question? I guess yeah. so. I'd, I'd say Vader. Why? Because I just feel like he's a more interesting... Well, not more interesting character, because I love Kylo Ren, but I feel like he's still the OG. He's still the, um... You know... I grew up with that story, so I'm going to say Vader. Ah, uh, this is like a... This is, this is a mean question. I just want it <laughs> to be, like... I rejected the concept of the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I, uh, and then, I'm going to say Kylo Ren. Ooh. Um, 
Mostly because I've never really had a Vader thing. I love Anakin as as blue lightsaber wielding Anakin, um, but I've never like had a total like fixation on Vader. Whereas I love I love Kylo Ren. I love everything about and, and uh, I love Adam Driver. I think Adam Driver just brings so, so much to it, uh, and he, he just looks fucking dope all the time. I don't know. It, it's, it's one of those things. I think for me, it's Kylo, though. I think there's just like, there's layers to, to him that I find more intriguing. I'm torn because I think that Kylo Ren is the most interesting villain, possibly, of all of the Star Wars villains because he's so multifaceted and he's. You know, he's vulnerable, and I think that that makes for a very interesting, a very interesting baddie. However, I think the person whose fall I understand and, oh God, I don't want the Raylos to get mad at me. Um, I feel like <laughs> the person whose journey for to get to from point A to B, from point A to baddie, um, I understand Anakin's fall, maybe... A little bit more, but at the same, it's hard because I really love both of them. But I Do you also feel that? Vader. You also feel that because he got a three movies worth of fall kind of thing. Yeah, um, he definitely did have his story more um, explicitly stated mm-hmm. in the movies. Mm-hmm. The fall was very clearly spelled out for you, and I haven't read all the Kylo Ren comics, and I haven't caught up on a lot of the bonus material, which I should probably get around to eventually. Um, yeah. I, I just, enjoyed that comic run. I still feel like there are gaps. Yeah. And like, like it didn't feel like the, the tell all, uh, expose on How Ben becoming here? Kylo kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's, I mean, that's they were, what I they want. Good. I want my yeah. people trilogy for Ben. Mm-hmm. I want that. Get on it. Animation. I kind of like it. Come on. Give the people what they want. I'll tell you what you should do, though, everyone. Be (laughs) Be more Vader. Oh, my God. Charlie popped up just in time for that. Yes. I saw that one. Let me me see if I can also prove why I probably like Kylo. We're going mobile, people. This is is interesting. It's his hair, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I got... A Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren, a Kylo oh. Ren. I'm really glad that I can see that. Why? Well, how come I couldn't see you guys this whole time? But now that you're showing me merchandise, my computer doesn't want that me to see your face. Is the power of the mouse, Claire? The power <laughs> of the mo- power of the mouse. <laughs> it's, it's like wait, the things you can spend money on. True that. Oh, so can I do a show? Merchandising, merchandising. Hey, I got a Kylo Ren the flame throw. I just want to shout out. <laughs> I would buy it. If anyone's interested, <laughs> I recommend picking up this book. It's the galaxy that. Um. Goes. Yeah. Can we can we s- split your vote, Claire? So that we're just one and a half. Yes. <laughs> one and a half points I'm for torn, Kylo. So. And, and <laughs> cool with it. So, cool with it. Like any good political body, we will not make a firm stance. <laughs> Moderate. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the general election. Oh, hey, don't, don't bring that up. Don't. And, the, and the Rona. My Corona. Um, let's see. Do we have any other little uh, Rona Farm Boy question? Where in the Ooh. galaxy would each of you live? Coax, so I could be surrounded by an army of monkey lizards. Hmm. There we go. Actually, I don't know a whole lot about the actual planet, so maybe I would take my answer back. It might be like filled with like malaria, yeah. coronavirus, coronavirus carrying biting insects. Maybe I wouldn't be cool with that, but wherever I can live, I just want to live with Hondo so that I can be with the pirates and have an army of colorful monkey lizards. Flora, is that is that the uh, the pirate haven? Is that where they oh, I they think were? So wow, good memory. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's a good choice. Um, let's see. 
I feel like the go-to answer I always have is Naboo. Same. How could you not but, love Naboo? Exactly. I mean, Naboo's got every. It's got. It's got country. It's got city life. It's got everything. Um, but I think just to mix it up a little, I'm gonna go with an unoccupied Andoran. I think their oh. architecture is really cool. Um, they seem like they got a, a cool thing going on there. Same sort of like dope city vibe. Um, yeah, I'll go with, I'll go with Andoran. I do dig the dope city vibe. Although I did re- just watch Attack of the Clones today, so I'm thinking about those giant like like giant wild boar anteater tick cows that they were riding out in that field. And that was pretty rad. (laughs) That's what I want to be. I want to farm. I want to be a farmer and have a whole bunch of those. So maybe Naboo has an honorable mention there. Yeah. And my monkey lizard can come with me. Yeah. Uh, How about you, Charlie? Is it my turn? Actually, we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Uh Uh-oh. Mark, can I see him? Oh no! Uh oh! Oh no! (laughs) (laughs) We are in trouble. (laughs) Can you you hear me now? When are you thinking we are in trouble? Right now. That's what I'm thinking. We are in trouble. Can you hear me now? Uh, Um, I don't know if it's just us. On the Wi-Fi. Hey, Paul. Can you hear me now? Wi-Fi. Yes. Hey, there we go. Right, he everyone, returns. Everyone, his triumphant return. Everyone must have saw me, oh, me disappear maybe. for. Everyone disappear for a bit, but I'm back. Um, yeah. Charlie, come back. What, Wait, what's your planet? Planet, 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 planet. What's um, your sign? <laughs> Exegol. <laughs> Exegol. Exegol. Perfect. It's got, I love it. It's got, it's got a great football stadium. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that I heard that answer. So it's fine. You call it Exegol, Claire. Exegol. <laughs> Exegol. Well, I just... Fear not, my faithful. <laughs> That's what the uh, the promotional thing says. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, Emma says better than the Emirates. Well, Emma can shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, do you mind if I promote uh, yeah. that quickly? Yes, yeah, go for it. So, a friend of mine, David Whiteley, has written a book called The Galaxy That Britain Built. And it's pretty awesome. It's all about how Star Wars and the UK um, that worked all behind and stuff. Like, everyone who worked in the UK and made Star Wars happen, that book delves into all of that. So, I recommend checking it out. It's really good. There we go. I have to say, guys. uh, What's the uh, what's the retail price? (laughs) Um, You find out yourself. (laughs) Um, It's a go fuck yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Ninety nine. I do have to say, um, what your shirts? They seem to be very interesting, guys. What are you wearing? Oh, this is your name, girl. That's exciting. We're very fashionable. Where, just, what is this? Where did you get those shirts? Um, Tell me you asked. www.tpublic.com forward slash users forward slash podcast. You mean this website? You don't even know. That everyone can see right now on Twitch. This website with our amazing designs. we got the Space Slut shirt, which, you know, Pretty snazzy. Uh, no one's Featured ever. Last re- week. Yes, no one's ever really gone. Done by our amazing friend Chris. Uh, they got so the Imperial good. Snake artwork T-shirt. Got the Moist shirt. Imperial Snake podcast. Just normal logo. And do you want to build a Death Star T-shirt, which is an old T-shirt but a goodie? I think. I'm biased. Moist. The oh, shirts you arrive want to build moist. A Death Star. Okay. Bye. You may find it ready. <laughs> <laughs> Order on trunks everywhere. <laughs> Let me just oh, say dear. really quickly also, um, 
speaking of building Death Stars, I just watched a show called The Outsider starring Ben Mendelsohn. Fucking excellent. Well, ben Mendelsohn is excellent. I have not Both. seen it but yeah, uh, based off based off a Stephen King novel. So if you are less inclined to creepy thing, maybe maybe sit that one out. But it's very good. There you go. Heck and yeah. you can see Ben Mendelsohn. Uh, Who doesn't love Ben Mendelsohn? Haley Solo says, "Hopefully not moist with coronavirus." Sweet, sweet man, well, though. If you p- you pay for my o- OnlyFans, I'll pay. And I call. think we lost Charlie's voice again. Well, that was oh great. Asking. Can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? I miss you, buddy. No, I'm guessing not. It's just shouting the refs away, anchor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, no! Oh, oh. I can hear me on Twitch. Technical issues. We love my... Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> there we go turbo turbo's the outsider is great See, it's turbo approved turbo approved yes there we go uh everyone else can hear me. turbo approved hey there we go yes, we can fault. hear you it's your fault what fucking america yeah okay sure Sure. Down with you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think Jesus, we've done for an hour and a half. Uh, Dang. Got anything else to add? No, I got all this exciting stuff I need. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know. All that stuff we got to do, take care of. Yeah, so much uh, so fun. <laughs> I'm so happy. But I, I mean, yeah. Thanks everyone for being in the chat. You guys, been yeah. awesome. Yes, thank you for your questions and for your dirty um, Watt Tambor nipple play insights and things of that nature. And for your company, because we are all in a weird place right now. <laughs> yes, we are. Very much so. We're very sad. Um, something for our, our patrons. Uh, Rita and I recorded another episode of the Sacred Jedi Bricks yes. the other day. So we can have that ready for you guys if you are watching the Freemaker Adventure with us on Disney+. Plus. Uh, so yeah, that, that should be coming your way soon. Uh, the BM96 first time for me, and it was cheers for a great evening. Thanks for joining in been awesome having you in here hey solo thank you for streaming thank you for joining thank you all oh. yeah, apologies for the fuck ups it wouldn't and be the imperial Senate podcast thank you all we didn't fuck up oh we, we love a good fuck up yeah we do we'll probably be practicing a few more times um, during right. the week this time we're the, we're the we're the domino squad of <laughs> podcasting domino <laughs> squad <laughs> Yeah, me and Nick will be oh, dead Lord. by the end of the, sh- by the, end of the year. <laughs> Kyle will be half robot. <laughs> I don't even know if it's still alive or not. Uh, but yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah, thank you everyone for listening. Um, give us any feedback if you'd like. Um, if we if you can improve in any way, just let us know. Uh, of course, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this week. If you'd like to catch up with oh, us yeah, yeah, or yeah. find our social links... Don't forget to check out our website, imperialsenetpodcast.com. You can also follow the podcast on Twitter at ImpSenetPod. On Instagram, we're Imperial Senate Podcast. No, we're not. We're Imperial Senate Pod. I lied to you. That was a quick, you know, get, <laughs> got, got your moment. Um, on Facebook, like us on Facebook. We're interested in search for the Imperial Senate Podcast. We're on there. Um, <laughs> Claire, don't look at me like <laughs> If you ever feel like sending yeah. us a question or voicemail, you can send it to imperialsnippodcast at gmail.com. And if you'd like to help support the show, you can do so by picking up some sweet swag from tpublic.com forward slash user forward slash the Imperial Podcast, or by being a patron on our patron page. 
you know, help us out, baby. And if you haven't had enough of us yet, you can play Star Wars Battlefront 2 with us on the PlayStation Network. Just join our community group by searching the Imperial Senate Podcast. Um, yep, yeah, uh, Emma will be posting some links to the stuff we do on the chat. Um, and yes, everybody stay inside and clean your hands, you dirty fuckers. Um, thank you so much for listening to us. <laughs> the Force will be with you always. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Until next time. <laughs> the algorithm. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs>